The fact that the ocean's salty, but lakes and rivers are not, and you've probably never thought about why, is a weird science fact that boggles my mind. It seems crazy that we need fresh water to live, and thankfully, the Earth is covered in water, yet 97% of the Earth's water is in the ocean and saltier than a teenager when he told her she couldn't go out to her friend's house. So why is it that the water on land is not salty, usually, but the water at sea is? Well, a good portion of it is because the land is salty and rain is acidic. See, salt is just ionic minerals, and rain erodes those ionic minerals and washes them into our rivers and streams and those rivers and streams wash it into the ocean and that is where some of that salt comes from but they might be saying hey that doesn't make any sense because if the earth is salty and it's washing it into the rivers and streams and the rivers and streams should be salty and by extension the lakes should be salty and everything should be salty well, yes but no. See, a lot of these minerals aren't necessarily salty to start with, and they're washed into our rivers, streams, and lakes in very low concentration. But once they finally make it to the sea, many organisms ingest those minerals for nutrients and leave behind the ones they don't like or excrete the salty remnants, which over time increases the concentration of salt in the sea. And since the sea is generally the final resting place of everything that gets washed into it, where rivers, lakes, and streams are always shedding old water and being replenished with new fresh water, the only way the ocean really loses water is through evaporation and evaporation does not take that salt with it. But that's not the only place that the oceans get their anti-ice solutions from. Deep down on the ocean floor, there's big cracks that water seeps down into because water gets everywhere. It's fluid like that. And then the water eventually gets close enough to the mantle where it gets heated by super hot liquid magma. And that causes chemical reactions with the rocks that cause minerals in those rocks to be diluted into the seawater. Many of those minerals are salty and the ocean gets more of an attitude. There's also volcanic vents in the ocean floor that spew minerals directly into the seawater. And there's these big things called salt domes, which are just large deposits of salt on the ocean floor, scale, something like that. I don't know. I, I didn't really understand it from the NOAA web site, but that also adds to the salinity. And it seems crazy that that is enough to make the entire ocean salty. But it is. It just took billions of years. And what's even crazier is that billions of years ago, the oceans weren't salty at all. Our water came from the heavy bombardment period where we were just pelted with comets and meteorites and asteroids for a really long period of time. And those comets were mostly just big blocks of frozen water flying through space. And when they impacted Earth, they melted and we were lucky and we held on to our water because a lot of planets didn't. And that water was fresh water, but the older the oceans got, the salter they got, which makes sense because I know a lot of old people who are just grumpy as hell, and they're not even close to a few billion years old. And on top of that, some ocean water is saltier than others. Since rivers and streams all run towards the equator and there's heavier rainfall around the equator, the equator tends to have lower salinity levels because there's more fresh water being introduced into it. Same with at the poles, melting ice and snowfall and precipitation also introduce a lot of fresh water that makes salinity lower, which is part of what allows sea ice to exist longer up there. But in the mid-level parts of the ocean where heat causes a lot of evaporation and the only introduction of fresh water is sporadic rainfall, salinity levels are higher. And the fact that the salty seven seas haven't always been so and salt slowly seeping into the sea since its inception has solidified the salinity we see, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.